What's up gang, welcome back. It's been a while since my last video and a lot of things have been happening in the background and uh, a lot of big changes, uh, some of them that you may not expect. Um, when I left his last, we'd finished off the CAD drawings for the M90 intercooled supercharger manifold and have been cutting some plates out for that. Um, and we've also got a few things that are changing for the build um, for the better, but um, yeah, substantial changes. Uh, but we will leave, well, we'll start off from where we left last time. So here's the machining of the M90 manifold. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town. I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air, like a blazing flare about as far as I've got with building the M90 manifold. So I've got it mocked up on the bench here to show you uh, what stage it's at, so. And here it is. So this is about as far as I've got with this manifold here. So as you can see, um, there was a bit of engraving and stuff going on and finished off the chamfered intake ports and all that jazz. It's just mocked up on the bench here for now. Um, decided to try and get a bit fancy and do some engraving on the front of it there but 
I came to a bit of an ultimatum, so we'll talk about that. Yeah, so I was sitting here last week doing a little bit of work on the car and I've been ordering quite a few bits for it because I've got a tune booked on the 2nd of uh, August to go get a tune because I'm doing E85 flex fuel tune on it. Um, that was part of the reason we we're building this intercooled M90 manifold. But yeah, I was sitting down having a bit of a think about it and I've just ordered new E85 compatible Bosch 044 fuel pump. Uh, new Bosch injectors, they're 550cc, uh, E85 compatible as well obviously, new fuel lines and fuel filter, so all that stuff there. Um, fuel pressure and temp sensors, stuff like that. And it just sort of dawned on me that this build has escalated quite a bit from its point of being a cheap track car a couple of years ago when we slapped the M90 on it. And that supercharger there is now the cheapest part of this car, <laughs> which is a little bit sad. Um, and I actually do have another supercharger that's been kicking around here. Um, I had thought for a long time about just trying to push the M90 to its limits and see how it could go with it. But just with how much money I've been spending on everything else lately, it kind of seems a little bit redundant because I will end up getting rid of that setup pretty much straight away. Like I would do Matsuri with it and then, yeah, I'd put the bigger blower on there because ideally, why wouldn't you? So that being said, I'll show it off. So don't mind the mess. So this is it here. Uh, this is a M122 intercooled supercharger off of a North Star Cadillac V8. Um, I picked this up a while ago off of a friend that I was doing some work for him and yeah, he gave me one of these for helping him out, which was pretty cool. Um, and it's just been sort of sitting in the background while I did work for him because I was using it for dimensions and whatnot. And if you followed me Instagram and me Facebook, you would have seen that I did do a trial mock-up of this on the Sora. Ooh, probably nine months ago, something like that, just out of MDF, just to sit on top. Um, and it did look pretty crazy. I had it quite tall at the time because I didn't want to machine the snout on it if I could get away with it. Um, but evidently that's going to have to happen because this is what's going on Sora. So I um, don't know if you know much about M, uh, sorry, M122s. Um, this is a substantially larger blower. So M90, 90 cubic inches. M122 is 122 cubic inches, obviously, uh, which is pretty well a two liter displacement blower. So this supercharger here is gonna be drastically better than the one that is currently on the Sora. So yeah, as you can see, even just size wise, like, you know, that's a little baby compared to the other one. So yeah. Um, so the plan is to start making intake adapters and everything for it because these do use electronic throttle on the back of it, which is not any good for me because I'm using an Elite 2000 so I don't have the facilities to do anything with that. So I'll be making my own three inch intake that goes around the back and then mounting my current throttle body off of it most likely. And yeah, uh, these are a bit of a weird design, these ones. So. The supercharger is actually inverted to what your standard traditional supercharger would be, I suppose. So the air is coming in the back like you saw, but when you pull this apart, it's actually mounted upside down and it blows up. So inside here in this black casing, that's the intercooler section of it. Uh, they use lamin over cores, which are extremely efficient. Uh, water in and out here. And then they actually blow sideways around and then down through these runners that would go into the North Star V8. So yeah, we'll end up making some billet adapters here and then a box to mount it to the one you said. So I'll try and keep a little news posted on this one and yeah, provide a bit more information this time around. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Um, drop a comment if you think this is a good idea or if it's terrible, let me know too. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you soon.